Hi, this is Mrs. Zhu, and we are on page uh, on classifying triangles. We did this in class last week, and so I'm just putting up the answers that we had done in class. So make sure you do have that copied down so that you know the different types of triangles and how they're classified. Okay. All right, we're going to go to the back side of this worksheet, which is we're practicing um, angle relationships, parallel lines, and this can be found in chapter 9, section 2 in the textbook. So if you don't have time to watch this entire video and you want to get or you want a little review, then you can uh, go ahead and read the um, sections there. We're not covering all the vocabulary there, but we did cover one of the vocabulary words um, by looking at 1 through 4, and that was vertical angles. Okay, Vertical angles are angles that are opposite of each other. And because they're opposite of each other, they're also equal to each other. Okay, so an example of that was when I looked at the angle one, if I was trying to fear, then to find angle two, I did notice that this angle was equaling a 90. So since I know that one of them is 34 degrees, then the other side would be 90 minus 34 degrees and that gave me 56 degrees for number two and number two and number three these two angles are vertical of each other and since they're vertical they're equal opposite vertical they're equal so for number three I also got 56 degrees for that and then for angle four I'm looking for V W R which is VWR, this angle here. So this angle is creating a obtuse angle, so I know, definitely know that it's going to be greater than 90. Now, it is 90 degrees plus the angle for measure of, of angle 3, and so that would be a 90 plus a 56 degrees, which makes 146 degrees, or some of us took the whole line and the entire line is 180 degrees or we took 180 and subtracted the one measurement of angle one which is subtracting for 34 degrees which totaled again 146 degrees so just a quick review of what we did in class already so based on that um, we're gonna look at the rest of the worksheet no protractors needed in fact these angles are not drawn to their exact measurements, but we want to look at the algebra behind it to help us figure out the missing angles. Okay, so no protractor, protractors are needed. So for number five, we're going to write an equation. Now, as we look at angle ABC, this little box right here indicates that it's 90 degrees. So these two missing angles, if we add them up, should equal 90. So the equation that we're going to write is we have 3x minus 14 plus the other angle, which is 2x plus 9, that will equal to 90. So that's my equation. Now, I don't have as much space when I'm using this program, so I'm going to go ahead and write that over here. Sorry, that's a minus. So this is number 5 and then I added that with the 2x plus 9 okay, and that equals to 90 degrees so number 6 I'm supposed to find x so what is x so I'm, go I'm going to go ahead and basically solve this equation now if I'm going to solve this equation I want to first combine like terms my like terms here happen to be I have 3x with 2x so if I combine that, I will get 5x. Then I have negative 14 and a positive 9. So if I combine those two together, if I lose 14 and positive 9 is gaining 9, then I'm going to have a total of losing 5. So that's a negative 5. And that is going to equal to 90 degrees. So now I have 5x minus 5 equals to 90. Then from here, 
I'm, I could draw my line here. I'm going to do the strategy that we called friends and family where I'm going to basically undo from where the x is. I'm going to undo the multiplying 5 and the subtracting 5 by moving it over. So I'm going to first take the minus 5 and add 5. And remember when I undo, I'm basically undoing PEMDAS. So I have to start with the last two operations in PEMDAS, which is adding and subtracting. So that's why I move the subtracting 5. And I need to do the inverse, so I'm going to add 5. So that's 95. That's equal to 5x. Then I'm going to take the 5 and divide it with the 95. And then so x is going to equal. Good. That's what you should get, 19. So back to the worksheet. x is going to equal to 19. Okay. Now I can find number 7. Number 7 is first I'm looking for angle ABD. So that's this angle right here. So. I'm going to do 3 times 19 minus 14. I just plugged in the x value that I found from the first equation that I wrote. So 3 times 19 minus 14 is the same as 57 minus 14, which gives me 43 degrees. And um, based on that, I could plug in, again, 19 into this equation or some other strategies. So I can do 2 times 19 plus 9 to get my answer. Or I could take, um, since I know that the total of the two angles is 90, I can take 90 minus the angle I just found, which was 43, and I can subtract. So these two equations are the same because if I choose to plug 19 into the expression here, or if I just choose to take 90, subtract with the 43 degrees, then I will still get the angle measure of that missing angle, which is going to be 47 degrees. Number 9, you're doing the same thing. Now the equation that I want to write here is a little different than 5, because in number 5, I had two angles that added up equal to a 90 degrees. Now we call that complementary angles when two angles add up to 90. Now in number 9 though, we could find <coughs> these two angles here because we know that these two angles are, what are they? What are they called when they're opposite of each other? Good, it starts with a V, vertical. Okay. Now vertical angles are equal. So my equation should be 5x minus 18 equals to 4x plus 7. So they're equal angles. Now I did not actually teach you how to find x when x's are on two sides of an equal sign, but we could do that right now. It's actually not too difficult. So number 9, I had the equation 5x minus 18 equals 4x plus 7. Okay. Now, just like when I move around numbers from one side of the equal sign to the other, I can do the same thing. I can move x's together. Now, they shouldn't be on opposite sides. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 4x over here, and I'm going to subtract it, okay, because it used to add with the 7. So I'm going to subtract 5x, uh, 4x from 5x, giving me 1x, okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the 18 over here. So instead of a minus, I'm going to add it with 7, which is 25. Okay, so 1x is 25, or that's the same as x equals 25. Okay, remember that 1 is just a stalker 1. So x is 25. Not too bad, right? So here, let's go back to the worksheet. x is 25. Now I'm going to find MNQ. MNQ is this angle here. So I'm going to plug in 5 times 25, subtract 18. If you do that correctly, you should get 107 degrees. Okay. Now to find the other angle, I can plug in 25 for x again. I could do 4 times 25 plus 7. That's a pretty simple math to do because 4 quarters plus 7 more should be um, pretty easy. Did I do that wrong? MNQ. No, I'm right. 
Oh, MN. Oh, I'm actually looking for MNR. I'm sorry, no wonder. MNR. MNR is uh, MNR. I'm actually looking for this angle here. Okay? So I'm not looking for the other angle because I know the other angle. It's the same, right? I'm looking for the other angle. So what would the other angle be? Well, I know that this whole angle, that's a straight line, and straight angles are how many degrees? Good, they're 180. So I'm going to take 180, subtract that yellow MN Q, that angle, which was 70, 107 degrees. So then if I subtract, I get 73 degrees for that missing angle. And those angles are called supplementary. And tomorrow in class, we're going to go over all of these vocabularies a little bit more in detail. But two angles that add up to 180 degrees is called supplementary. That's a 7. And so if we look at 13, we're going to find angle 1 and angle 2. Okay? So how could I do that? Well, I want you to just try 13, 14, and 15 by yourself. And if you can't get it, we will go over it in class tomorrow, but just give it your best shot. Okay? Now, um, what you want to be able to do is look for straight angles. So that's a straight angle. Okay? Find vertical angles. Vertical angles find angles that are opposite of each other, um, similar to each other. Okay, so my hint for you in number 13 is uh, the angle right here, okay, is going to be the same angle as that right here. Okay, so your equation that you come up for number three, 13 is 3x plus 31, that angle, and 5x minus 27, that angle, they're actually equal to each other because they're, um, they're the same measurement and you can kind of like turn your paper a little bit to give it a different look, but it is the same, okay? And then number 14, uh, you'll notice the straight angle right here, okay? So these two angles together, 6x plus 4 and 2x minus 16, if I add them together, then those two angles together should equal to 180. So from there, you should be able to find x, and you should then be able to find the different measurements. Okay? And then uh, we will talk about it more in detail tomorrow in class. So have fun, and we're going to really delve more into geometry and all the vocabulary words. So see you tomorrow.